That's why we have another 45 minutes to unpackage this shit. Sure. And that's why you're here. And, and it's not to play stuff to chump with you, man. You need yeah. to add, there are people that are listening. I promise you, there are people that are armed to the teeth listening to this conference. Oh, listening. I'm sure. And they're going to come to you and they're going to have questions because sure. everything that's too good to be true type of thing. They're like, okay, so the reliability, it's there. Check. Okay. The economic efficiencies, tell me how you're saying it's uh, for 50 megawatts, I'm 50 to 70 million dollars on CapEx into creating this microgrid. And then I have an operational factor. The thing is, is oh, trying to buy, you know, purchase power agreements and getting, you know, mm -hmm. the, the capacity of natural gas is so volatile right. that the price has changed, what, twice a day? Show me the baby. I need 100 right. megawatts. They didn't have to care. What am I paying per megawatt per year, per month, whatever it is. But now when they have to get in the point where they have to self-generate and they have to go prime, or if they're using microgrids, now they have to understand the commodity market better. Sure. And they need to know how to find someone they could buy and, and hedge energy for them because you could go the wrong direction and, and sign a lease for three years on the wrong pipe and go $45 million backwards. You understand the capex. You're talking about the reliability of a microgrid being five nine. Let's talk a little bit more about what we just alluded to, which is if I'm building my microgrid strong enough, you're saying I can remove the UPSs on my electrical permutation within Correct. the facility. Correct. So what, what we are basically so right now the structure. Look at let's look at the structure of UPS. You have a wall of UPS safeguarding the data center from whatever comes from outside, 100 right? And they are matching that capacity of, of batteries to the load itself. Correct. But remember. We got batteries sitting in the middle of our microgrid solution as the buff buffer tank. So that's why you can take some of the majority of those UPSs out of the equation of the data center because you already have it here. We call it uninterrupted energy supply. So we have, uh, instead of the UPS, we have an uninterrupted power energy source, which is built into our battery storage system. <laughs>